and welcome to a cup of conversation on BRT TV. This week I'm in the studio with a great group of students, 25 students from Glazemore Community School in London and with also two teachers, Sonia and Engin. And it's going to be a fun programme again. I can't believe a year has gone by since we last met with this uh, school, but they're here back in the TRNC. So enjoy a couple of conversation this week. First of all, Sonia and Engin, welcome to the programme. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Now, Sonia, you're like, a, you know, part of the furniture here now, aren't you? Totally, totally, yeah. How many times have I lost count? Four or five times this now? Is, on the I program? think this is my fifth time on the programme, yeah. So uh, next year I'll be in your seat, sir. I think you should. I think you should <laughs> get me out of this studio and you can do all the chatting uh, with the students because you know them better than I do. But welcome back to North Cyprus. Thank you. And obviously you enjoy coming back year after year. Or yeah. do you get bullied into repeating this trip? No, year? no, no, not at all. It's a, it's a pleasure. It's an absolute pleasure. And to see... I mean, we visit lots of the same sites. Um, but to see the children kind of seeing it for the first time, it, it's wonderful. Every single year is different. Every year is different. Fantastic. And uh, Engin, welcome to the programme. Thank you. Thank and you. it's the first time we've met. It is. Uh, you're a teacher at the school as well. I am. What I'm, do you teach at I, I, I teach science, but I'm also the deputy head teacher there. You're the deputy so head. I've got a small timetable as, as a result of my leadership role. And uh, Miss is one of the assistant head teachers there as well. So, yeah, so uh, our timetable isn't as heavy as other members of staff, but because of our leadership responsibilities, but yes. But it's an honour to have you here. Thank you for Thank coming you. Thank and joining you. us. I want to say something about the, the school, because it's easy when you're online, you can find out lots about schools here. And it says here, uh, Glazemore is a great place to be. It is a happy and successful school. The staff are caring and totally committed to nurturing the achievement and development of our children, they say in the About Us section. Now, Blazemore is an 11 to 16 mixed school with approximately 1,250 pupils. It is situated in the urban area of South Tottenham. And I like this, this is the best bit. Our school motto is dream it, reach it, achieve it. So, 25 students here from the school, a very good uh, school. Every year they come to the TRNC for a May break, and it's always around the 19th of May, National Youth and Sports Day. So, I know that they've been out and about enjoying not only the historical sites and the beauty of the TRNC, but they've also been to a local school to find out more about what the students are doing here. Although this programme is only 30 minutes, I've got 25 kids to speak with. So, if you don't mind, let's speak with them quickly so we can uh, get a, a word in for the kids. And we're going to start at the back. So they can introduce themselves and tell us a bit about themselves. So first of all, can we start with you, young lady? Hi, my name's Lachey Wiley. I'm 13 years old. When I'm older, I want to be a motivational speaker because I like showing people the different aspects in life. I like seeing the colleges and seeing how other children in this country learn. Hi, my name is Katie Simpson. I'm 13 and I like school because I like doing maths and I really enjoy it. Hi, my name is Gian Akta. I'm, I'm, th I'm 13 years old and I like um, music and drama. Hi, my name is Lauren and one thing I've enjoyed about my time here is visiting the Blue Castle as we got to learn more about the history of Cyprus. Um, when I'm older, I'd like to do something within the performing arts industry and my favourite subjects at the moment are drama and music. Hi, my name is Jamie and I'm 13 years old and I, and I enjoy my time here. Hi, my name is Hannah Milling and I'm 13 years old as well. Um, one thing I've really enjoyed about um, being in Northern Cyprus was the bread making. Not because I like kneading dough, perhaps, but because of the insight it gave us into Northern Cypriot culture. Also, when I'm older, I want to be a science teacher as I'm really passionate about the subjects and I enjoy helping people learn. Um, hi, my name is Jabane Lawrence. Um, I'm 13. I enjoy sports and um, I enjoyed visiting other schools. Hello, my name is Devon Yetim. I'm 13 years old and I'm in year eight. And um, I really enjoyed visiting North Cyprus. And when I'm older, I would like to be a pilot because I love maths and science. <coughs> Hi, my name is Cadence Thomas. I'm 14 years old. Um, when I'm older, I like to work in medicine and I'm really glad to be back in Northern Cyprus. <laughs> Hi, my name is Gabriella Findlay. I'm 13 years old, and when I'm older, I'd like to be an international barrister because I believe in letting people's rights be heard, yeah. 
Hi, my name is Justin Adade. I'm 13 years old and I've enjoyed my time in Northern Cyprus and I also enjoyed going to the Blue House as I learned a lot about Paulidi and how he smuggled drugs and guns into the sea. Um, hi, my name is Shania Thomas. I'm 15 years old. My favourite subject is English and in the future I want to do something that includes um, computer science. Hi, my name is Kai Jackson Kwon Treng. I go to Glenmore Community School. I'm 13 years old. My favourite subject is PE. I would love to play, uh, be a professional footballer. And so far, I play at Arsenal Academy. Also, I would love to thank the teachers for bringing me to Northern Cyprus to see all the coaches. Hi, my name is Nadia Dina. I'm 12 and my favourite subject is science. Hi, my name is Jada Mama. I'm 13 years old and my favourite subject is French and English. Hi, my name is Diana Pereira, and my favorite subject is science and drama. Hi, my name is Leah Morris, and when I'm older, I would like to be a photographer. Hi, my name is Ajani Joyce Actionola, and in my future, I would like to um, um, get involved in stocks and shares and trading. And I've really enjoyed my stay in Northern Cyprus because it's um, given me an insight into a sector of my culture. Hi, my name's Kaya Lawrence. I love being in Cyprus. My favourite subjects are art, drama and PE. Oh. Hi, my name is Bladina Borici. My favourite subject is art and my true aspiration is being a designer as well as a businesswoman. Hi, my name is Arda Yomas and I'm 13 years old. My favourite subject is drama because it's, like, it's enjoyable and I like to work with my teammates. My, what I want to be when I'm older is a professional, professional gymnast trainer because gymnast, gymnastics is my passion. Hi, my name is Ayas and I really enjoy science and I want to be a dentist when I'm older. Hi, my name is Glady Bravino. I'm 12 years old and my favourite subject is music and my favourite sport is trampolining. Hi, my name is Kanaya Lawali Dunn, and my favorite subjects at school are French and English. And when I'm older, I inspire to be an orthodontist as I'm interested in braces and teeth, and I've really enjoyed my trip here. Hi, I'm Nasli Boyebe, and I'm 13 years old. In the future, I aspire to be a criminal law lawyer because I enjoy reading about crimes and seeing how detectives solve their cases. Thank you very much. Well done to all of you. I know that was very difficult to put you on the spot there. Normally I ask the questions, but this year, because we have so many kids and we're running out of time, I made them uh, do all the presenting themselves. Wonderful kids. I mean, they're, they're great. They're very well behaved. They look well behaved. I don't know if they're well behaved off the camera, but um, very intelligent. And I know that your school has gone from strength to strength. I'd like to mention that your head teacher is Tony Hartney, yes? CBE. Yeah. And he actually was awarded the CBE because of all his work with you know making the school top or one of the top in the in the area is that right yeah. tell us a bit more about the school sonia okay so i mean as it, as you said it, it the, the where the school is situated in tottenham is a very um uh, deprived area um and the philosophy of our head teacher tony hartney has always been that um your background should not negatively impact on your educational aspirations. So for him, education was a, a route to take him where he wanted to be. So he brought those aspirations and dreams and hopes to South Tottenham. And um, he is, he's obviously been totally instrumental in, in you know, instilling in the students and their parents and their carers that whatever you want as long as you are prepared to work hard then it is within your it's within your reach so you know um the values of the the ethos of the school dream for it reach it achieve it that's the cornerstone of everything about gladesmore community school fantastic and it says also here on your uh, facebook on the sorry, internet page uh, the reach values of respect, enthusiasm, attitude, cooperation and hard work. And I think all these youngsters here today in the studio, they all are great achievers, hard workers. I mean, from lawyers to, yeah. I don't know, I mean, scientists, they've all got great yeah, aspirations. Definitely. Wonderful. Must yeah. be a good science teacher, I think. <laughs> don't know about that. But yeah, I mean, I just want to concur what Mrs. said. It, it doesn't matter where the students are coming from and how difficult the circumstances are. 
they can go on to do great things. And many, us, many of our students have done that at this school. And all the staff, the parents, and the children work together. We are one big family. And this community school, it's, 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 it's very inspiring. And if you ever get a chance, please come, come and visit, visit us. us. Yeah, yeah. We, we would love that. Fingers crossed one day, I hope yeah. so. But you have children from different backgrounds, and I noticed there were a couple of Turkish names there as well. And it is very multicultural. Now London uh, is a very multicultural city. Correct. Um, how is it? I mean, do they all get on with each other? Does everyone blend in with each other? Do, they, do you all learn about each other's cultures? Or are we all now just, you know, one big happy family? I mean, I don't know whether anyone wants to say anything about this. I mean, is everyone getting on all right? Who wants to say, are you all having a good time? <laughs> yeah. yeah that, that says it all, doesn't it, really? Uh, your teacher, who is the link to us, is a Turkish teacher, Mr. Erkan Pasamajol. Yeah. And he's a great guy, arranges the interview every year, and arranges the trip every year. So you also have Turkish lessons, those who want it, uh, Turkish language and other different languages. You've been coming here to Cyprus for the past probably five, six years now? It's ten I'm years, actually. Ten years. Ten years, really? Yeah, so I did the first one. I did the first one, Mr. Pastor Majola, ten years ago. Um, and what we wanted to do, myself, Mr. Satradin Kamil, who's our lead learning mentor, and Mr. Pastor Majola, was to try and raise the awareness of Northern Cyprus. Because, as you know, Cyprus around the world tends to be not representative of the whole island. Yeah. So for us, there's a Turkish Cypriot, it was to try and raise the awareness of that. And uh, that's why we look to put this trip into place, to look at the historical sites, the beautiful culture. And Mr. Bardwi has just continued that fantastic mantle. And uh, yeah, if we can have one student coming back with their family yeah. 10, 15 years later, we've done our job. We've, yeah. we've raised the awareness. And that was the key for us. I think you've done a great job. Uh, you're putting the school on the map as well, yep. because a lot of people now, a lot of the, the Turkish Cypriot children who you meet by the schools, I know that you went to uh, JU, the American Future College in yes. uh, Left Gosha, I like yep. down the road. Um, so they're learning about the school as well. Yeah. How was that? Because uh, Mr. Pastor Majol sent me this. It's, a, it's a, uh, an item of news that was shared by JU. We had a pleasant day with Gladesmore Community School students who were our guests from England. They observed different science experiments and did some English activities. Drawful competitions were also held in the Survivor racetrack. Now, Survivor is a big competition in Turkey that we uh, watch <laughs> here okay. in the TRNC. So maybe that's why they use the word Survivor. It's just a, a, a you know, not school race, or I don't know how you put it in, in English, but we use the word Survivor now for all tracks like that, you know, making okay. the kids race each other. So how was that? I mean, uh, what, do you have a good time? At the, at the school. Who wants to say something now about, the, about that day at GAU? Anyone wants to make a comment? Come on, one of you guys. Who's, who's sporting enough to, to, to say a few words? Pass, I think you'd like to say a few yeah. words, yeah? So Go on. Can you pass the mic down, please, to the young lady? What would you like to say? Um, it was very, like, it was as well as fun and amusing in the same time. It got us active and it we had we interacted with other people as well other than ourselves so it was very nice to meet other people so did you get to see their classes what they yeah. were doing is it similar to your school do you think or very different it's very different but i really like it it's something that um like new things i really enjoy it i think we all do so do you like make friends there with the other kids did um, they, were they i feel like they were a bit shy were they a bit shy i think yeah, yeah i think Sometimes when you meet so, new people... Yeah. Sorry, I mean, that's actually a really good point. And um, obviously the, the English language, they're looking to develop in the schools at Guinea American mm. and obviously Near East. So we're looking to set up a link as well with each, with each of the schools between the English departments. So we can look to do web links amongst the children where they can look to converse and improve their English because the more they practice, the better it is. So that's what we're looking to try and put in place. Years ago when I was a student, we used to have pen pals, didn't we? Indeed. Indeed. Yeah. Write letters yeah. to yeah. other yeah. people. Although these guys probably thinking, what's a pen pal? What do you mean letter? <laughs> what's a letter? No one writes anything. We're, we're you know, on WhatsApp, we're on Facebook, totally. or maybe on Facebook's a bit too uh, yeah, boring. Bit young. Instagram, Snapchat. Yeah. Um, but again, that's a way to, that's a good thing, isn't it? Maybe to yeah. build bridges, Yes. Yeah. Uh, make new friends. Maybe they yeah. can, you know, get addresses of each other and or become friends on yeah. social media and then converse, make each other converse yeah. uh, in English, especially for the students here who maybe the practical English isn't so 
it's easy when you're in lesson, but to speak to somebody yeah. full on English, yeah. it's like, it's well, quite intimidating. what happens? Yeah. But I'm sure, you know, uh, they're going to have a, a good time with each other, learning about each other's cultures. And so you had a good time there. I hear that you have been out and about. You've also been to one of my favourite places, the, the Blue House. Yeah. A lot of the kids say, I like the Blue Who liked the Blue House the most? Hands up for the Blue House. Okay, so everyone liked the Blue House. Who liked Guinness Castle? Not many. You don't like castles that much. Oh, yeah. All right, then. <laughs> so We've also, we were also given the opportunity to, um, I think Hannah mentioned it when she was speaking, um, but Lois um, in... In Kalitkaya. So we went to Kalitkaya, I think a village, um, yeah, village in Kalitkaya. And, yeah, we'd, we'd met a lady. We met a lady <laughs> who, with her right. husband, have set up... Um, like an, an eco workshop so they're very very green and she is an original canadian and her husband is you, so do you, you know Lois Jamal yes that's it. And yes and Ishmael. Ishmael. And Ishmael. Yeah, Ishmael. I know them. yeah just and um she um gave the children a bread making workshop and it was it was just absolutely fantastic just watching how the bread that we all take for granted when we go to the shops yeah. it, how it's made the, just the love and the care that goes into it and you know she took us she explained the whole oven and the cleaning of it and it everything. tasted great it was just yeah they all made bread well. yeah it tasted you good made bread. That's a, made, is yeah. that a new experience this year definitely yeah. Yeah. Well. yeah 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 that's good aren't you guys yeah. lucky so who enjoyed that who will say something about making bread okay can we pass the mic now back here please um, yeah, I really enjoyed my experience of making bread because I like to bake in the kitchen a lot. But then seeing that how Lois was telling us about the respectful way to handle bread, um, the right way to make bread, and I loved the way how she put it in her outdoor oven. Yeah. So it was very, um, very nice to watch as well. Satisfying. It is, very yeah. and you don't realise, do you? You know the, the old village way yeah. of mm. life. I mean, when you come to Cyprus. I mean, we've got big towns now. Lefkosh is big, Guinea is big, quite modern now in most areas. So you don't realise that the village bread, there's still a system here that is used. And mm. uh, Lois and Ismail and the, the whole village, they hold eco days yeah. where all of us locals go down and we experience uh, village life. It is, and, and we enjoy it, yeah. us locals here. We all forget about how mm -hmm. life used to be. And it wasn't that long ago that, you know, everyone was making bread like that. Forget the modern bakeries now, where you get your, your donuts and your, you know, the cream buns. Mm. Awesome. People used to make the, the bread. So, did you enjoy that experience here? Did you enjoy yeah. going back to sort of like, you know, the olden times? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's something new, which is good, because again, it learns about culture. What is, what do you think, when you go back to the UK after the trip, what do the kids remember the most? I mean, do you make them uh, write a project or an essay about what they've experienced? Or, I mean, how, how do you know how successful it's been? I mean, uh, apart from having a good time under the sun... Yeah. What we tend to do is we do assemblies where we feedback regarding our experiences. We do display boards at the school, so showing the photographs of where they've been, and we have little captions as well explaining what they've experienced. So. So yeah, that's that's the way that's the way we put it for it. We'll put it on our website as well, so globally everyone can see it. Let alone yeah. you know um, people affiliated to the school. So yeah, that's 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 what we tend to do. Because of the success of the school, and I know that uh, you are doing very very well. You're in a high position. You must be a popular school in the area then. Yeah, yeah extremely. Very so very, very popular. Work? Because you've got you know 1,250 kids roughly. Um, that's a big school, and yet you have probably uh, primary school kids wanting to come to the secondary school. Yeah. How does that work? Do you have an entrance exam, or how yeah. do kids no, get in? No, the students um, uh, uh, apply to come to Glazemore. So they apply to Haringey, and they are given a choice of five schools. Because we are so popular, um, if they really want to come to us, if they don't put us number one, then their their name goes to the bottom of the list right so just before we left we got the numbers of students that are going to join us in september and there are 270 that will join us in september the new the new entrants yeah. however just before we left our head teacher told us that even at this point um our waiting list is 185. 
Oh my so God! We're the really, most, so that's yeah. how as many waiting as there is getting totally. in. Totally. Agreed. Yeah. So, so we, we we come under the bracket of being probably the most popular school in, in the whole of Haringey. Yeah. But you're right. I mean, we are in a top category and we're in the outstanding category. So when the Ofsted inspectors have come in, and in our last three inspections, we've always got grade one, which is outstanding. So obviously that is a, a big pull for parents. And as I said, it's the work that we do with the parents and the children. We're a real family environment. And, and, that, and that works. And it's win-win it's, it's for everyone. And myself and Miss Bartheby, we're, we're also in charge of that. That's one of our roles, the admissions of the little ones the who, who come Sorry. from primary school. So yeah. we work closely on that. Well, you are successful. And you've got 25 kids here today, which is quite a large number. Mm. We've got one return young lady who came here last year. The rest are all new. How do you decide who comes on these trips? I mean, obviously, these trips are... They uh, cost. You know, you've got to pay for these trips, yeah. Yeah, either yeah. by sponsors or the parents pay, whatever. But yeah. uh, is there, like, a, a waiting list for the trip as well? Or how do you work oh, yeah. out who gets yeah. to come to Cyprus? There is a waiting list for the trip. The, the students that are here, um, it's primarily based on their academic attainment across the curriculum. Um, and also their commitment to their learning. So they also have got to, um, they've got to demonstrate that, you know, everything that they're doing in school is spot on, it's, it's as it should be, because this is a week out of school. Um, everyone else is still at, uh, um, in school yeah. having their regular lessons. So we've got to be confident that the children that we take, missing a week, they're able to catch up the work that they've missed very, very quickly. Yeah. Um, the trip is also possible. It does cost. It isn't cheap. Um, a to Z catering is is uh, it's the third year that they have um, contributed money towards this trip, mm -hmm. um, which means that we can subsidise the cost for the families. So again, we are not ruling families out based on um, financial means. Um, That's great news. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. I know you arrived last Friday, which was the 17th. Yes. And on the 19th of May, which was Sunday, we had National Youth and Sports Day. Does anyone yeah. know about that day that was given to, to uh, the children or the youth by Atatürk? Anyone want to make a comment about that? Did you, was there anything going on special for, on that day, on Sunday? We were unable to, were we? Yeah. Unfortunately. Unfortunately, due to the schedule we had, we just missed out on that. Yeah. You know, yeah. It, was, it was so tight, it was so packed. Yeah. We just didn't get a chance to. But again, that's something that we would definitely look to factor in next time. Yeah. But and the fact that you went to, uh, to GAU... Of course. Uh, ..the day after and did supporting activities and met with the kids, it was yeah. the same thing. Agreed. Uh, and what, how long have you got left now, then? When do you leave? We leave, um, we leave our hotel at 3.30 tomorrow morning. 3.30 tomorrow morning? Yes. So this is your... Last full day here. Last Correct. full day. Uh, yeah. What else do you have planned? I mean, where have you been? What, what sticks in your mind, guys? What, what's the, your favourite place? Anyone want to make a comment about their favourite place so far? Go on. Yeah, we have one gentleman here. My favourite place is the Blue House. Because um, Paro, I forgot his name, Paro Lidi, um, he was a gun smuggler and he was a drug dealer. And the house was like amazing because like, it's olden and there was old fashioned stuff. With lots of secret yeah, passages. Yeah, there's secret passages. Going from one colours. door and another door and then to another All room. Different colours. So it's a good place. It's a, it's a tight schedule, one week, mm. with also uh, an hour here at BRTK, which I'm very mm. grateful uh, for you making the time for us. What happens in the evenings? I mean, how do they spend their time? Are they eating and drinking local food? Or are they just having free time, being uh, crazy? Uh, I mean, what, what, what's... Uh, what do you guys... What have you been doing what in the evenings? What have you been evenings? doing? Swimming. 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 In the pool, swimming, the yeah. Beach. Not just that, they've been dancing as well. They're dancing, they're been dancing. Yeah. So, so we're at a hotel that is obviously full of tourists there, and yeah. uh, and you can imagine tourists seeing a young group of children and think, oh no, they're going to be extremely noisy and a bit unpleasant. <laughs> but they've fallen in love with them, absolutely fallen in love with them. So much so on disco night, they're yeah. all dancing away, all, all dancing together. away together. It's fantastic. And, and 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 the tourists are saying again, what a credit these kids are to us uh, as staff and to the, to the school, school and their parents will be overjoyed 
And I thought, but yeah, they've got some good dance moves as, as well. Uh, gotta say. a bit of, you know, uh, <laughs> dance moves while you're here on holiday. Well, why not? I mean, it's, a, it's, an, it's an exceptional trip. Yeah. Not only learning about the culture and the, the history and the geography of Cyprus, but also enjoying um, a break and seeing something different. Just giving yeah, them uh, a chance to experience something new. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Very I'm much sure so. a lot of them, it's the first time that you've been to Cyprus, yeah? You haven't been before, have you, really, apart from... Uh, the young lady who came last year. So um, it's a new experience for all of them. Maybe the first time away from home. I don't know how it is there. But are you enjoying yourselves here, yeah? Yes. Are you going to be sad to leave? Yes. yes. Yeah. <laughs> Back to school on Monday? No, no it's half term. No. We got half term. We got oh, a week half off. Half term? All yeah, right we got then. a week off. Okay, yeah. so a long break for you guys. Yeah. That's good, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> And then, obviously, what, the end of the year coming, maybe exam time? Yes, when we go back after half term, it will be preparation for end of year exams, and they all need to do really, really well. <laughs> really, really well, so that you deserve this break. You can say that, 100%. you know, even though I had a break, yeah. I still study, and yeah. I'm still going to pass my exams yeah. and, and get a Very good break. So. I mean, our school year ends earlier here. Mm -hmm. In fact, it's exam week for many of the secondary schools here whilst you're here this week, mm -hmm. and then they get their report cards next week, and then we have Bairam coming up, which is at the end of fasting, the yeah. uh, Ramadan Bairam. So really, for us, the end of uh, academic year is just around the corner. Aren't we lucky here? Indeed. <laughs> But um, I'm sure you'll have a good time as well when you finish. Um, would you like to come back again? Who wants to come back to Cyprus for another trip? Ah, uh, there you are. <laughs> Says it all. So you have to ask Miss Sonia. Well, she's guaranteed uh, yeah, uh, uh, yeah. another trip. And, uh, I don't Miss, know whether I am, but Mr. yes. Engin, well, we don't know. <laughs> if he's good this year at school, maybe the headmaster <laughs> will let him come. But um, yeah, well, we'd love to have you back. But would you like to come back maybe with your family? Maybe tell mum and dad. Yeah. Can we go back to Cyprus one day? Yeah. You, and when you go back to school, would you say to your other friends, you know, if you get the chance, apply and go, yeah? Yeah. yeah? Are your friends jealous that you're here while they're at school? Yes. Yeah. yeah, there were lots of tears, unfortunately, because, you know, there are more children that want to come than, yeah. than we can actually accommodate, so... I'd hate to be the one to say no to the, to the kids I and break their I leave hearts. that to the grouch. He does that. Is, is he, the, is he the, the mean teacher, then? No. No, he's a good teacher. It's yeah. definitely not me. <laughs> no. Definitely not me. They're being kind. All the teachers are great. And I want to, once again, I want to say thanks uh, to you guys for coming in today and spending uh, a lot of your precious time with us. A big thank you to your head teacher, Mr. Tony Hartney, CBE. A big thank you to Mr. Ed Kambasmajoro oh, for organising this event, uh, this interview every year. Thank you uh, as a deputy head, thank you. Uh, Mr. Engin Jumali. Jumali, perfect. I yes. remember now. And uh, it's a pleasure to have you guys and hopefully see you again soon. And I think there's one little thing that you want to do. Yes, yes. please. You spoil me. What? <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you, so much. Thank you very much. <laughs> wow. Thanks, guys. This is your hard work, actually, because you are hardworking. You are well-respected uh, students at the school, so you deserve to come here. And because you deserve to come here, I get to meet you as well every year. So it's all your hard work. Thank you very much. <laughs> and I wish you a safe time until tomorrow morning or whenever you leave, tomorrow afternoon. Have a great time. Make the most of what's... Uh, left of your time here, go out and about. If you get the chance, take lots of photographs. These are memories for you when you go back to That's the UK. Nice. This will be uh, on YouTube later on, so you can watch yourselves and laugh at each other later on when you go back to school. <laughs> but send my regards back to everyone at Gladesmore. Well, well done for all the hard work. Keep up the good work. And hopefully see you again here soon. And thank you, Sonia and Engin, That's for bringing these kids you. in. Thank and you. And enjoy the rest of your stay. Wonderful. And we'll say goodbye now. Everyone will come away to the camera now. We'll say goodbye and it's goodbye from everyone here at BRCK. Until next week, take care. Goodbye. Bye. 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 Bye.